Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm definitely well overdue for an updated wardrobe essentials, wardrobe staples, wardrobe must-haves. A lot of the pieces are in neutral tones and that is because they are the foundation pieces of a lot of my outfits. You can kind of build upon them. Also, shout out to my cold. My voice is probably gonna sound kind of croaky throughout this video, but enough chit chat, let's jump straight into it. You might be watching this video because you want to find some new wardrobe staples or you might be in the process of putting a new wardrobe together. And for that, I have some super important tips to share with you guys. You will know that I talk about this app ShopTag a lot. I'm very passionate about it. It seriously changed my life. Um, I use it almost every day. <laughs> if you guys know me, you will know I'm a fan of the old high neck or mock neck long sleeve top, as you can see. They are a very useful styling piece and I actually will talk about them more later, but ASOS have really nice ones and they are always sold out in my size, but I saved it to my ShopTag app. Sure enough, two days later, it came back in stock and I grabbed it and then it was out of stock. So I actually got the last one. All you have to do is install the ShopTag browser button on your desktop. When you find an item that you are interested in, you just click the ShopTag button in the corner, select the size, color, and then how you'd like to be notified I always just say any price change save and you are done. So now you'll get notified via email if that item goes on sale or if it's low in stock or if it comes back in stock. And if you install the mobile version of ShopTagger, you will get push notifications, which is my favorite way to get them. It keeps all my shopping organized because I have lists for Christmas and then Black Friday, of course, because that is coming up very soon. So now is a good time to get prepared for that. If you don't already have ShopTagger installed, I don't really know what you're doing with your life, but that's okay, you can change that now. So I will put a link to download it right at the top of the description box below. And of course, thank you to ShopTagger for sponsoring this video. It's an awesome app and I love to talk about it and share it with you guys. I know you are going to love it. Starting out with tops, you guessed it. I have my high neck slash mock neck long sleeve tops. I have them in both black and in white. You'll notice that whenever I film try on hauls, lookbooks, or other kind of fashion videos, you'll probably spot a high neck top somewhere in there because they are such a useful styling piece and you can incorporate them into so many outfits. Now the next piece, I know you guys are gonna be a little bit surprised to see, but it's an oversized t-shirt, uh, but in all seriousness, I really do recommend them for everyone. I think they are just so great for summer and I also wear these during the winter. I will layer them with a long sleeve top. They look cute with bike shorts, with cutoff shorts. You could put a skirt underneath or you could tuck it into a skirt wear them with leggings and sneakers. And who's the big sister to the oversized t-shirt? The oversized sweatshirt, of course. Everything I said about the oversized t-shirt can be applied to the oversized sweatshirt. You can style it in the exact same way. I'm personally a fan of sweatshirts with some kind of print, but I do have a plain gray hooded version. Now I kind of screwed up my metaphors. What I should have said was that the oversized t-shirt is like the cousin to the oversized sweatshirt because the younger sister of the oversized sweatshirt is definitely the cropped oversized sweatshirt. These look great with anything high-waisted. My favorite thing to style them with is like my cargo pants and I recommend it in like a gray mall like this specifically because it goes with everything. And the last piece I have to mention in the tops category is a dressy blouse in white or cream. I think this is definitely such an essential for me for when I need to kind of dress up, but I don't wanna to have to think too much about what I'm wearing because I know this will always look good. It's always gonna be stylish and classic and cute. I love it. Moving on to bottoms, my next essential is a pair of black high-waisted A-line shorts. Let's throw out that auto exposure. There we go, looking great. These are definitely one of my most worn pieces because if I'm wearing a cute, very girly or dressy top, I like to balance it out with something like a pair of shorts. Of course, I do think shorts just give you that little bit more freedom of movement. And then of course, super flattering, they are black, high-waisted and A-line. It looks good on everyone. And going hand in hand with the high-waisted shorts, of course, I have a black A-line mini skirt. Once again, black high-waisted A-line, can't go wrong. You can pair a skirt like this with pretty much any top. 
I'm going through them in my head and I can't really think of anything it wouldn't look good with. So these are a summer staple for sure. They're just a cut off denim short. I have these in black as well. I love to wear a pair of shorts like this with an oversized t-shirt in summer, pair it with some chunky sneakers and a choker, which is how I style everything. But still, this is like my uniform for when I go to Disneyland or Disney World or wherever, or any kind of theme park because it's comfy, it's casual, you can stay cool. My last essential in the bottoms category is of course a pair of black leggings. But we're not just talking any leggings, we are talking really high quality, fully opaque leggings. And my favorite are the Zella live-in leggings, which I have right here. Such an essential for days where I need to be comfy and feel practical. So great for going to the movies, great for amusement parks once again, or just everyday running errands. Moving on to the outerwear or jackets category. I'm keeping these pretty general. I only have two dimension. And first is some kind of oversized hoodie. I just find these are really useful for everything. I wear them around the house. I will throw them over an outfit if I need to go out. They're great for the movies. They're great for travel. You could put a cute mini dress underneath or a skirt and a crop top and then have your little oversized hoodie over the top. Pretty much all within that trifecta of comfy, casual and cozy. And then I only have one more outerwear piece to mention because it is so general and I have so many jackets that fit this description and that is an oversized jacket. An oversized jacket can work quite well as a statement piece that you can wear over a really plain outfit that just makes it look so much more interesting but with very little effort. And then of course you have the warmth and the comfort and the practicality with the pockets and all that good stuff. And I pretty much just have one essential dress to mention. It's a black fit and flare mini dress. I love these dresses. I don't think I'll ever get rid of them. I feel like they are so useful for so many occasions. I love to travel with dresses like this. If I want to be able to kind of pack less, I can just put in like a dress and a jacket and that's like the outfit done. And then of course you can also layer things underneath them. Next, I have some essential shoes to talk about. And the first type are going to be no surprise to you guys, but of course, some kind of chunky sneaker. I've been wearing chunky sneakers for so long and same as I would have said four or five years ago, I do think that a chunky sneaker is super versatile for styling. The chunky sole is just so much more flattering. Next up is a pair of loafers. I have a few different styles and colors of these and again, like many of my essentials, these are timeless and easy to slip on with any smart casual look. Now let's talk about my essential accessories. The first one I have to talk about is of course a white baseball cap. You could also go for a black baseball cap as well if it's more your style, but for some reason I just really prefer how the white looks on me and with my outfits. I think it just grabs a little bit more attention. And on the topic of hats, I should give a shout out to the old black beret, of course. This is a military beret. It has a very particular shape and structure. I don't wear these as often anymore, but I think a black beret like this has a really cute kind of vintage look to it. Another essential is of course a black choker. This one is my favorite at the moment. It's by Swarovski. It adds so much to an outfit. You just pair one with a t-shirt and it just takes it to a whole other level. Now I almost forgot to mention sunglasses. One of my favorite pairs are my oversized Gucci sunglasses. I do think that even though tiny sunglasses are in, that oversized sunglasses are gonna be in forever pretty much. I don't think they really ever go out of style. And to round up this video, I have a couple of essential bags to share with you guys. And the first type of bag is a black mini backpack, of course, because it's not a really big and bulky backpack. It doesn't look like you're going to school. So it definitely has more of a kind of fashion look to it. My next essential bag is some kind of crossbody bag that's leaning more on the dressier side. This is definitely my essential bag for days when I wanna wear a really plain outfit. I pop this bag with it and it makes it look so much more put together, especially with the gold chain detail and also for special occasions, going out and all that stuff. My next essential bag is a tote bag. This is my everyday bag. I get so many compliments on this bag. People think it is so pretty and they always want to touch it. They always think it looks really soft and it is very soft. I also just have this like faux fur 
little pink pom-pom attached to it at the moment. It's just easy to throw over the shoulder. You can fit a lot of stuff in it. So let's just call it an interesting, unique tote bag. <laughs> that is what the essential is really. Bonus essential I forgot to mention is a black medium width belt. I have ones with silver hardware, gold hardware, and then my plastic quick release style. So I can pick a style suitable for the outfit or even match the hardware to my handbag. So that sums up my current list of wardrobe essentials. I'd actually love to hear you guys' wardrobe essentials as well, so please leave them in the comments below because I would love to take note. My Instagram and Twitter handles will be right here on the screen, and be sure to subscribe if you are new, and whether you are new or old to my channel, make sure that you turn on notifications by clicking the little bell icon, and that way you can be sure that you won't miss any of my videos. I love you guys so much, and I will see you all next time.